Mainstream Game Capture Power Wash Simulator. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go. It is time. It is, it is time. Look at it. Sp uh, Midgar cringe. Okay? Absolutely. You shut up, you soap coming bastard. Um, Midgar cringe. Tomb Raider, never heard of it. SpongeBob SquarePants, probably should get started on that one sometime soon. Back to the future, whatever. Warhammer 40,000 Power Wash Simulator video game. Land Raider. Goodness God. Wow, I think this Land Raider is actually, like, lore accurate. Like, like size-wise. Because Space Marines come out of the ramp. Holy hell. Wait, they, they also have a whole bunch of various type, types of nozzles. Are you kidding me? Wait, this is this is hilarious. They, they, they've redone all the, no, the nozzles for everything. Ugh! Ew! 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 Ultra... Uh, chat, it was a lovely stream. Um, I really appreciate you coming here and, and supporting me during today's stream. I just hate blue. I just hate blue so much. I just fucking hate blue. I'm gonna refund. No, I'm, I'm sorry, chat. I gotta, I gotta reopen the game now. I, I committed too, too deep to the bit. We're just starting the Jar Wars like this, this fast, chat. It's 40 fucking dollars worth of bits to put a, a bear in the jar this early, eh? I wanted to clean our land raider. We've got a, we got a long day ahead of us, chat. We got, we we have, I think it's set six missions? Six things to clean? We can't be spending it worried about jars. You know, let's be honest right now. This is an Ultramarines Land Raider. If they if they were dealing with a particular issue that left their Land Raider looking like this, I I would agree that uh maybe Nurgle was somewhat involved. Actually, I haven't really looked around here much at all. It's kind of a neat idea. It's just it's just you got the plasma coils, you got all the stained. Oh, wait, what the hell? There's something behind there. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my god, we're on Mars. No, we're on one of the rings. We're on, wait, we're on one of the we're on one of the the Martian uh the the circle of iron or whatever they call that. The big the big circle ring type thing. Lick the Nurgle goo, I dare you. Tell me more Admech lore. Uh the, did you know that um, in the the Onager Dune Crawler, the one that looks like a like a spider walker, um, there is uh, there's a Skatari in there, but he's actually submitted to massive amounts of radiation in order to power the Dune Crawler. That he's basically just like a living battery in a tube, and so eventually when uh, he's he's no he dies. You just like replace him with another Skatari. So uh, if you ever um, have built the Onager Dune Crawler, you you may have noticed a uh, uh, you may have noticed like I think a Skatari's head pops out of like the side thing. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know if you can build it like that or not, but there is one in there. That sounds rad. Yeah, a, a lot of rads. We, we need to uh, chat. We need, okay. I need. I need. A I need a channel point poll. Will we end the stream with him in or out of the jar? I need a channel point poll here. Chat. It's time to gamba. That is ten minutes. Wait. Wait. Can polls only last ten minutes? Yeah. I must say. Can I? Can, don't, can poll? Can I make it so that polls have no time frame? You have to have a time. Oh well. Crap. All right then. Um, we'll do 10 minutes for now, and then maybe we'll remake the poll later. One day is that dar jar is gonna break. A Twitch room gifted a sub to Hooters. What, what is it about Power Wash Simulator that brings out the degeneracy in you guys? What exactly is, is it about this particular video game that brings out this level of shenanigans? Twitch room gifted a sub to Hooters, but with cats. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I would go there. 
I, I would go to a, a, a cat Hooters, yeah. Also known as Cooters. Ah, that's pretty funny. Take the bear Plus two. The jar and no one gets hurt. So I, I would love to do that, Sharono, um, but Binks has put $100 to keeping him in the jar. Uh, and that was in addition to the other $20 that came to put him in the jar. So I, I have some very bad news. You are still a $58 off of putting him back in the jar. I'm sorry, out of the jar. Why did this start again? Was it? I think I think it was Ritley. I think Ritley bought was like I want to like buy him a fucking jar to put him in, and then and then after that it was like Ender that was like take him out of the fucking jar, and then ever since then, it's just. It's it, it's just like spiraled. It's not a loop. It's a jar. Is this the Land Raider Crusader? It is not. It is a Land Raider regular. Uh, the Laz cannons on the side means it's a simple regular. Uh, I think it's the God Hammer pattern la uh, Land Raider. Though these are God Hammer pattern Laz cannons, so I'm not quite sure exactly. But um, the Land Raider Crusader contains Hurricane Bolters on the side as an assault cannon on the front. Chat nerd react me immediately. That being said, I was asked. This is not a who asked situation. I was clearly asked, okay? We should all be thankful that this is covered in Nurgle filth and not Slanesh filth. That would be traumatizing. Well, when you think about it, when you think about what Slanesh is into, uh, Scat is both a Nurgle and Slanesh thing. Both Nurgle and Slanesh would cover this Land Raider in Scat. What does Scatman have to do with Slanesh? Well, Slanesh is a, is a god of unspeakable excess. And generally, when you think about uh, emotion and touch and feeling, it generally goes along with sex. And so, basically, Slanesh is, is into every kink imaginable. And so, if this place was covered in shit, that is more than an acceptable thing for Slanesh. It could also be covered in cum. Why was Scat your first thought? Scat was my first thought because it works both for Nurgle and Slanesh. I know you all wanted fucking cum. You you were all just being cum goblins, but I was not referring to cum. I was referring to Scat because it works for both Slanesh and Nurgle. Slanesh would be into Ska, S-K-A. I don't know what Ska is, but I assume it's something degenerate. Oh, it's music? Oh. Oh, I, I assumed that they were talking about some kind of scat because that's the conversation we were currently on. What kind of, wait, what kind of music is it? God damn it, I gotta up the minimum bit donation. People are, are utilizing the 100 bits too easily and I'm, 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 I'm missing a lot of stuff. Chat is going, is wilding today. Chat is actually wilding today. I gotta make some, I gotta make some adjustments to the minimum, minimum dono amounts. All right, minimum bits to cheer. We're changing this to 250. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Thank God I didn't have my, my monitor capture on. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it, it has, it has all of the, um, it has, it has all of the banned words listed on, on the tip stuff. There's, <laughs> there, you know what, I mean, we, we 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 put a we put all the bad words there, all right. We put all of them there. <laughs> it's fucking the sacred texts. No, not that. It, it, specifically, not that. In fact, quite the opposite. It's the banished texts. Question: How do I deal with hypercrypt legion monolith as a space marines or sons? Uh, infiltrators, my guy. Infiltrators. You, you don't want that Hypercrypt Necron Legion popping up everywhere? Then you give them the no deep strike within 12 inch bubble. In fact, if you want to be really mean, uh, you use the um, a five man squad of infiltrators and a Phobos Librarian and you put it on your backfield objective and then they can't deep strike within 12, but the whole squad also has loan op because of the Phobos Librarian. So not only can they not deep strike you within 12, they can't even shoot you when you're within 12. They, they literally cannot interact with you whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, nerd react me. They asked, they literally asked, chat. Never falter, never surrender. See, I, I I know you don't give a shit, but that's that is a very Warhammer coded message there. 
Probably because it's a very Helldiver coded message. So chat, I've I've heard uh in the in the in, in the interest of keeping um in, of keeping names anonymous, I've I've heard uh some interesting talk that um for large portions of team building exercises, the people at Arrowhead played and built a shitload of Warhammer while making Helldivers as like their main group work. It's unsurprising to say the least. Collab with devs incoming. Hey, I, I'm, I believe the devs are not located in Southern California, but if they were, hey Arrowhead, hit me up, we'll play a game. If I beat you in a game of 40K, I expect 10,000 super credits delivered to my account immediately. I expect to buy all of the currently bugged armor. Redemptor Dreadnought, baby. Let's go. Ooh, it's a Dark Angels Redemptor Dreadnought, too. This is an Inner Circle Redemptor. It's got the bone white and everything. I'll be honest. I think the thing that sells the most miniatures, that genuinely pushes the most sales of miniatures outside of maybe like the, the hyper competitive collector people are the books. I think there are a ton of people in chat that just picked up a book, read it, loved it, and was like, oh man, I kind of want that army now. Lion Son of the Forest. Me and probably a million other people were like, dude, I want to make a Risen army. A fucking Dark Angels Risen army. That sounds awesome. That sounds genuinely incredible. Or when I read um, Assassinorum, stop it, stop it, you Zoomers. Stop it, you Zoomers. Yes, Riz, 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 he, 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 eat shit. Look at that. Look at that beautiful Redemptor. Look at that. All right, what's next? Ah, the Rogel Dorn. Let's fucking go, chat. If you guys have not bought or built up the, the new Kasserkin yet, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> the Rogel Dorn is an absolutely incredible, incredible looking tank. It's it's big, but not too big. It's got it's got just the perfect mixture of like, you know, extra gear on the sides. It's that that great mixture of sci-fi and the and basically the Imperial Guard being a bunch of 1940s dudes with their 1940s tank. It's pretty perfect, honestly. Here's the stream lead on Don Breaker. Hey, what's I up, dude? Held divers right now practicing and I just hit my new record. Jellical, it, it's so like you to um to just like spend all of your time in in this badass hell diving democracy game and and spend most of it getting really good at stratagem hero. Like that that's just such that's such a fucking jellical pilled thing to do. I have a I have a book next to me that I start writing down like uh ideas for a video. Drop into Malevolent Creek slash hard mode robots. Welcome to Estalia gentlemen meme meme segment already done brother i'm not trying to be original i'm trying to be funny i can i i can i can do one listen i i i am ready for the day i hear my name in an h bomber guy video and i violently shit myself out of fear all right for for being a, a hack fraud without any original material. <laughs> That's career death. You need to go underground after that. That's the thing, right? Like, uh, like honestly, there, there's... Okay, can I tell you guys something? Okay, I, I, gotta be, I gotta be totally honest. I actually had this dream. I, I don't remember what happened. I think I was having a really hard time sleeping. So I took, I took some melatonin, right? Um, now, if you've ever taken melatonin, uh, one, don't do it too often. You don't want to gain a dependency. Um, but... Uh, Melatonin ha will give me some of the wildest dreams 
ever. Oh yeah, Kayla gets it. Yep, yep, yep. I had a dream where I woke up and I opened up my Twitter mentions and it was nothing but people shitting on me. And I was so confused and I went to YouTube and there was the, the Dan Olson Folding Ideas H Bomber Guy collab to take down Bricky. And I was like fucking like sweating and crying my ass so hard freaking out and then i woke up in like a genuine sweat it's it was like yeah it was like an apocalyptic event i was I was terrified it's like i i will never recover from this there there is nothing i could possibly do to save like my career is fucking over at first i was like damn that was a terrifying dream but then i thought to myself why did I have that dream? What kind of guilt am I currently feeling that made me have that dream? Like what kind of internal guilt? Or is it just like a like a personal anxiety of of losing everything I've worked for? You know? I don't know. The kicked kid? That kid, he was in my way. Kicking too many children? I kicked one kid. It's not too many children, there was one kid. Why did you kick one kid? Oh no, some of chat doesn't know the story. I'm not telling it again. <laughs> the, the link the video, just link the fucking video. I'm not telling it again. I said, I told the video. You guys made me tell that video to Matara when we when she was like, like 4,000 viewers and with her whole, whole, my first experience with any of the Vishojo content creators, you made me tell the story about how I kicked a child in a mall, okay? <laughs> you shits. You absolute shits. <laughs> Don't womp womp me, <laughs> you shitters. <laughs> you can womp womp. Chat, have any of you actually beat Power Wash Simulator before? Because let me tell you, the final mission of this game is agony. It is like this gigantic alien pyramid. And it is, it is unfathomably long. It's a boss battle, my guy. I know, that's what I'm saying. I really appreciate Games Workshop knowing what their players are going to run. And so they specifically put on the Oppressor Cannon uh, as opposed to putting on the Twin Barrel Battle Cannon. Come to think of it, wait a minute. This is literally a meta Rogel Dorn. Oppressor Cannon, double a double melt gun, Sponson multi meltas, and oh, I guess you could trade out the, the um, the Gatling, Castigator Gatling Cannon for a Pulverizer Cannon. <laughs> Fuck you, Chad. This is my job <laughs> to, to, to talk about this stuff. How big is the Bane Blade model? Like the model itself? It's gigantic. Wait a minute. I actually think I have a Bane Blade and a Rogel Dorn built up. Technically, this is magnetized and this isn't technically a Bane Blade, but it is a Bane Blade um, chassis. Uh, so, so here is the Rogel Dorn. As you see, um, it's just, obviously, it's just uh, uh, primed and everything. Um, but, uh, where's, where's just camera? Here we are. Uh, so, obviously, you know, it's pretty good. Um, it's, got a, it's got a couple. So, this is about the size of an average, like, six-foot human, give or take. So, it's a, it's a pretty darn, it's a pretty darn big, you know, kind of kind of tank for the most part. Unfortunately, they do that thing where they, they put, don't put a hole in the bottom, which is fucking stupid. Um, the Bane Blade, however, is... Um, well, it's a little larger, so. Yeah, uh, this is basically an apartment building on, on or, or like, like a house on wheels. Um, I actually magnetized it to, to do all the various types of, um, of uh, barrel and stuff. And I've also done a thing, so. Uh, I can take this and then flip it over and then put this on the side uh, over here and then take this top off and then turn this into a, a Storm Lord or uh, a Doom Hammer or any of the other kinds of um, uh, of weapons that, uh, you know, you would generally utilize from a um, uh, for this kind of chassis. So it's pretty good. Uh, the Rogel Dorn and, and the tank are... Uh, yeah, they're they're very large. <gasps> oh yes. Oh yes. The best way I always describe knights is that like a knight move or a, a titan moves like a Pacific Rim robot does. 
and a knight moves like a Transformers robot does. Because knights are actually really agile. It's actually one of the reasons why they're so feared. They're never, they're never particularly uh, shown that way, which is unfortunate. But they're, they're, they're actually very like they, they. When you read the books and stuff, they, they move and like, they like roll. They like do a back roll and they jump. You know, like they, they, they slide. Like they actually fucking. They move. As someone who doesn't play much Warhammer, how can you have a meta in a game where dice rolls play a big part of it? Uh, because it's all about, um, because it's about army construction and uh, how you can mitigate those dice rolls. You know, it's um, if you have something that hits on a four, but then you pick stuff that hits on threes, it'll naturally be better. If those things that hit on threes are not costed properly and are costed in a way that's too cheap for their innate power of hitting on threes, then you, you know, take that instead because it's more powerful. It's it's all, yeah, it's all like, as I said, measured odds. Despite all of the needing certain models and requiring X and Y, there's actually a huge skill part of this game that a lot of people don't realize. Mitigating odds, uh, target prioritization, movement phase especially. There's a reason, and I'm, I'm going to toot my own horn here, okay? All right. Um... There's a reason that I go to tournaments bringing wacky shit and generally still get at least three wins. It's because I know my army very, very well, and I can play it well even if my wacky shit is wacky. Right now, I'm actually looking at a fun list where uh, you run, um, it's Space Marines, but you run Max Company Heroes. Because Company Heroes are kind of, are kind of nutty? In a weird way, it's it's 95 points for four models, um, but they're um, I, I would run them in Raven Guard because the Raven Guard attachment's nasty, and it's it may, means that outside of 12 inches, they are four wounds each, four wounds each, minus one to hit, minus one or uh, uh, cover save, minus one to hit, cover, and minus one to wound because a character is in the unit. And then they have like four wounds each and and they have like a nasty kind of heavy bolter and some good melee and they're two uh they're they're two fucking um oc with the ancient in them it's just it's really kind of gross and hilarious and i love it it's just a great time here's the thing Let, let's say you run the apothecary biologus in uh in the raven guard group 10 heavy intercessors, 10 of them, T6, three up, three wound Gravis guys are only 200 points. That's it. If you slap the Biologist on them, you can give them the infiltrate enhancement. So for like 280 or something, you can just infiltrate fucking 30 wounds of T6 Gravis chunk directly into wherever you want it and it's hilarious it's such a fucking meme plus you know they get extra benefits if they're on an objective they get plus one uh to their save if they against one damage which is also helpful they're two up oc their guns don't suck either they're like kind of okay and uh you get lethal hits with the biologist so it's just uh, it's just some good stuff you know it's just some fun ideas I got I got some memes in me, you know. I got some memes in me. What? Why? Wait, hold on. What? Why did testicular torsion become a thing? Why did that become a meme? Is it just twisting your balls? Why is chat doing that? Armin brought it to 40k. The rest is a mystery to me. Okay, good to good to know. Thing, I, and here I thought you would of all people, chat would be the one that could explain to me testicular torsion. It comes from our wizard posting. There's a subreddit for that? Why is there a subreddit for that? For wizard posting? Yes, wizards are cool. Okay, wizards can be as cool as... I mean, that's fine with the with the cool wizard part, but... It's exactly what it sounds like, Bricky. It's a place of debauchery. Lies, it's a place of learning. Of learning wizardry? I need to get more gamer subs. The code is just Bricky, correct? Why, thank you so much for asking, Cuddle Minxie. Indeed, the code is just Bricky. 
In fact, we may or may not actually have a brand new Gamer Subs jug, 32 ounce jug, coming out in like a week and a half or so? Specifically yours? Yeah, yes, actually, specifically mine. A, a bricky, li like, licensed, sponsored, etc., etc., jug indeed. It is currently in the kitchen. I, I am told I can show you all if I want to, but I don't I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to make it a surprise or not or something, you know. All right, all right, I'll show you guys. Give me a moment. I thought to myself, okay, what if, what is the, how do I keep with my prior, like, muscle girl thing? But how do I make it a little bit different? You know, how to, how, a little bit, a little bit fun. Uh, and so naturally we hired, um, I, 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 I forget how to pronounce her, her name, uh, who draws many of that, uh, very often. I thought, you know what, you know what meme I've always liked? I've always liked the, uh, what is, what is he listening to? Probably heavy metal or, or, or rock. So we decided to go with the, the, the meme itself for the main fucking joke. Naturally, of course, with the pink top, because you know how I am. It's act. It actually came out really, really fucking good. I I'm, I'm genuinely shocked by how well it came out. Um, uh, as usual. Oh, I don't know if you noticed. Do you guys see the brick on the treadmill? Look, look at him. Look at the little brick. That's a little brickle. Holy shit! That is a Thunderhawk gunship. Oh my god. Oh, is it a Blood Angels? Yeah, let's go! It's a Blood Angels Thunderhawk. What's next on the schedule? Well, it seems like we're in the Hell Divers world for a, a a little bit longer. I mean, I guess we're I guess we're power washing the 40k DLC, and once that's done, then you know, there's the Hell Divers and all that jazz. Final Fantasy VII? No, I will not be playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. No, thank you. <laughs> Not interested. Of course I've seen Tifa. Just, be just because Tifa's hot as fuck doesn't make it worth playing the game. As I've mentioned many a times, I did not like Final Fantasy VII Remake. I have never played the original game. I was excited for the new one. It was billed as a remake of the original, and then it was a whole bunch of random bullshit. One third of the actual game, uh, and then an ending that made me go, what the fuck was even that? It is certainly not a bad game. There's a very big difference between me thinking the game is bad and me, uh, and me not liking it. But Sephiroth is so hot though. Bro, okay, I gotta be honest with this right now. It may, maybe it's a product of the time. Maybe Sephiroth created the anime boy physique, but Sephiroth to me is the most generic looking motherfucker I've ever seen. Ooh, he's a lean, tall anime boy with long white hair. Wow, he's so unique. There's a, now, there's a good fucking chance that he's not unique because he's the OG, and, and I can understand that. If that's the case, then, then okay, fair enough, fine. But he's like the most generic dude I have ever seen. People need to fucking take more goddamn examples from our Lord and Savior Daisuke. Daisuke? Daisuke. Ah, uh, whatever. Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear character designs are peak fucking characters. They are so good. They're so unique and interesting, and they make even even generic fucking white boy default loadout Kai Kisuke at l looks interesting. But I'm also a hater, chat. I, I, you, you know me. You know me as the anime hater. You know me as clearly as the anime hater, so, like, it's not... Even though I don't actually hate anime, but I just... I, I hate what they do sometimes. But I also hate American shit all the time, too. It's like... Oh, I'm so tired of my JRPG games. Ugh, I don't want to play Final Fantasy VII. Loads up Suicide Squad. I am not a hater out of just pure hate. It is, uh, I, I need to back up my opinions, which is why when I went to, when I, when I watched Your Name, the, the teen anime movie romance film, and I said, holy shit, this movie is actually incredible. I'm genuinely shocked how good this was. I'm, I'm, I'm being honest with you all. I may be a hater, but credit where credit's due. Actually, that would have been a really funny 
a really funny like PvP mode for power washing simulator. What if what if you you both one of you had to shitify the Thunderhawk as fast as possible, and the other person had to had to clean the Thunderhawk as fast as possible. We're gonna just call it Splatoon. Well. Fair, fair enough. Oh, Core Hazen, you're dead. You said yeah, but Splatoon isn't good. You're, you're absolutely, you, your, your life is measured in minutes. Maybe not even. It might be measured in seconds. A slip's favorite games, I'm not mistaken. The gays will come for him. Wait a minute. Is Splatoon, wait, is Splatoon, a, is Splatoon a gay thing? Is it very pop? Is it a gay thing? Is it popular with the LGBT community? Excuse me. Whatever. Really? Oh, slip. I thought you were just being unique. Never mind. I see you. I see you, much like every other lesbian I know, love Splatoon and Asterion. <sighs> Typical. So easily figured out. The truly gay icons, indeed. The evil bi vampire and the uh, and the the squid girls. <laughs> Well, okay, maybe evil is wrong. I, I don't know. I haven't played the game, but you know. Okay, Bayonetta is so obvious you can't even mention it. It's like it's like Bayonetta is like is like making a joke about a U-Haul truck. Like it's just it's just like it's already it's like it's low-hanging fruit. It, it's too easy. The gays got devastated by Bayonetta having a family. I, they did actually though. I I remember the Bayonetta 3 discourse when it came out. Is it good or bad that all of the clickbaity react videos can be AI generated? Well, it just it just shows how uh how fucking worthless react content is. You can be a um what's the phrase I heard? I think it was on like a Northern Lion stream or something. Um eth you can be an ethical reactor. There is such a thing as being an ethical reactor. It is just entirely about uh how you you know, how you, uh, how you transform the content. The content must be transformative, is the phrase indeed. JonTron's a React content channel, in a sense. But that shit is transformative as fuck. That Mystery Science Theater, also a very good example. <laughs> ethical reactor is Chernobyl. No, I don't think Chernobyl was an ethical reactor at all. I think it was, I think it was a very unethical reactor. Chernobyl was an overreactor. Zing. God damn, plus two. That's a good one. Wait, seriously? There are people reacting to people reacting to my video? Why? Who the fuck? Why would you fucking- wh What? Who would make that? Who's reacting? What? Is it- Is it like reacting to- To Matara Khan and Zentrea reacting to Bricky video? Is that that common? What the hell? Wait, what the fuck? I saw a sniffa feet question mark in the chat, but I realized their name. Their name is Sister Frida's Feet from fucking Dark Souls 3. What the hell? No wonder they said sniffa feet. What do you mean this is my own fault? What did I do to cause this? I just pointed it out. I did not choose this community, okay? This community chose me. And that's true though. I did not choose this community. The community came to me. Wait, no, shit. No, I think I'm wrong. No, no, wait. This community saw my stream and decided to stay. Oh, crap. Damn it. Why Why did I have to get the Twitch Bricky? Why couldn't I have got the, the YouTube Bricky community? The video essay Bricky fans hate your opinions. The video essay Bricky fans are absolutely going to hate my opinion very soon when I tell them I didn't like Alan Wake 2. That's why I had the cancellation nightmare. The H-Bomber guy cancelled me because I didn't understand Alan Wake 2, or didn't like Alan Wake 2. I've always liked that genre, the- the storytelling, like the Uncharted, The Last of Us, The God of Wars. I've always enjoyed that genre, because it's- it's- it's a nice mix between game and movie. It's play- it's play the in-between part, and then enjoy the movie, play the in-between part, and enjoy the movie. I've always liked that kind of genre. Where he sounds like he liked Kojima games. I like Kojima games the same way I like Sam Lake Remedy games. They're weird, and they have a and they have their very own artistic point. They cook. It comes out a little burnt. It comes out a little raw, but they do burn or they, they do burn, but they do cook. Is Kojima a hack? Oh, 100 percent. Oh, dude, if Sam Lake is a hack, Kojima is like hack supreme. Kojima is like the OG hack, the the original. But the guy makes good games. But then he also walks out of the Game Awards with a WWE entrance and a giant golden brooch the size of a fucking softball on his chest and because he loves himself to death. We are so close. It's actually insane how close we are. 
Chad, are you are you gooning with me? Honestly, I, I would I wouldn't I wouldn't start your gooning yet, chat. We actually got quite a while. Well, the point of gooning is to make it last, Bricky. Oh, yeah, that, that's you know that's a great point. I I should have thought ahead. My to do list is almost done. It's been over two hours. Oh, we're almost ready. Oh, chat. Oh, prepare yourself. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. They're a fucking thunderhawk. Jesus. I am absolutely exhausted by Power Wash Sim. And we did it! It's over! <laughs> it's over! We did the entire 40k DLC! That was eight dollars, chat. Five uh, and a half hours. And and we the the and B has ended the poll in the jar. The stream is over. And uh, and he is in the jar.